In Janin, even the youngest residents marched through the streets protesting the killing of Palestinians in Gaza. This city in the north of the occupied West Bank has long been a flashpoint, and now Israel's army is again stepping up anti-terror raids here, even carrying out air and drone strikes. Since the 7th of October, they've been hitting us so hard, and everyone is just watching us. Other Arab countries, Westerners, everyone is watching the destruction of the Palestinian cause. We are Palestinians, and we're fighting for our land and our honor. We will not leave. This is the Janine refugee camp, one of the largest in the West Bank. At the moment, it's subject to almost daily Israeli army raids. And the entrance to the camp was destroyed in one of those raids just a few days ago. Generations of Palestinians have grown up in densely populated refugee camps since 1948. This one is the stronghold of the militant Janine Brigades, an offshoot of Palestinian Islamic Jihad. One of its founders was shot dead in an Israeli anti-terror swoop this Monday. His father among the group's supporters gathered in mourning. I'm proud of him. He was defending his rights in his homeland. Anyone who defends their rights now has become a terrorist. That's their label for it, according to them. In Janine, even the local head of the party of the Palestinian Authority no longer believes there can be a peaceful solution. There are killings every day. What do you expect them to do? What do you want me to tell them to resist by throwing stones? There's no solution. They're bombing us with airstrikes and missiles. Before, we used to trust in the peace process. We had a little bit of hope, but now we have no hope. Israel's declared war on us. A few hours later, Israeli forces again arrested this Fatah leader, who they accuse of supporting terror, and carried out further raids on Janine, as perspectives for peace in the West Bank seem ever more distant.